This episode brought to you by preparewithdronetech.com. These days, the future is still more uncertain than ever. That's why people who know what's coming are using today to prepare. You can't wait until the last moment. By then, it's too late. The most important thing you need is long-term storage emergency food. It stays fresh for up to 25 years and will be there when you need it. I strongly recommend My Patriot Supply, America's leader in self-reliance. They're the only source my family uses for emergency food planning. And right now, you can save $50 off a four-week supply of delicious meals that provide 2,000-plus calories a day. Calories give you the energy you need to survive. And saving $50 is impossible to pass up, but supplies are limited. So go to www.preparewithdronetech.com right now and stock up. That's preparewithdronetech.com. There's no time to lose. Do it now. White evangelicals, 45% say they won't get vaccinated, according to a Pew Research. Uh, Republicans, almost 50% of Republicans are refusing to get the vaccine. So we won't reach herd immunity because of those particular groups. So I say we need to shun those that refuse to get vaccinated. I think if you have not been vaccinated, no entry. You want to get on a plane? You got to be vaccinated. Show proof of vaccination. And those people that don't want to get vaccinated, then that's fine. That's fine for you. But then you can't spread it to other people that are that are vaccinated. You can't spread it to other people rather that aren't that, that are also not vaccinated. Then then you don't get those other liberties that come with immunity. A personal choice not to get vaccinated, you don't then get to infringe on the rights of those who have chosen to protect their fellow citizens. I've just noticed something. Are we the baddies? <laughs> Why stop at just taking our rights away? Why not just round us all up in camps so we're not a danger to your safety? Why not just come up with some kind of a final solution so you can deal with us undesirables for good? Folks, in all the years that I've been doing this, one of the main things that drives me is an understanding that the left or the powers that be are capable of rationalizing anything. And when I say anything, I mean evil things. Things that you might have thought were unthinkable or impossible in this day and age. Here we have a daytime talk show openly calling for people of a specific skin color and religion to be shunned from society, made into second or even third class citizens. This from people who are constantly screeching that people who they disagree with are monstrous fascists, are the ones openly and shamelessly calling for their opposition and those that they hate for their skin color to be oppressed by the government. And she even trips herself up a couple times on this point. Did you catch it? And, and those people that don't want to get vaccinated, then that's fine. That's fine for you. But then you can't spread it to other people that are that are vaccinated. You can't spread it to other people rather that aren't that, that are also not vaccinated. Personal choice not to get vaccinated. You don't then get to infringe on the rights of those who have chosen to protect their fellow citizens. It's almost like her brain accidentally realized the absurdity of what she was saying, but she continued spewing her vile hate anyway. And then of course, it makes no sense that vaccinated people would feel threatened by those who chose not to get the vaccine. At this point, there are more than enough doses for anybody who wants to get the vaccine, but the rate of people getting the vaccine is slowing. People who chose not to get the vaccine, most likely healthy people who aren't that concerned about a five or 6% chance that they'll end up in the hospital if they even get it or they get it and have an even stronger immunity than the people getting vaccinated. I highly doubt that people who don't get the vaccine want other people who chose not to get the vaccine to be oppressed by the government for their safety. It makes no sense. What does make sense is that this woman is a deranged racist who sees an opportunity to bring pain and oppression down on those she racially hates and disagrees with politically. Yet another way for the powers that be to silence dissent and secure one party domination. If you're watching this and you're thinking, drone tech, this is stupid. These are just daytime TV hacks that nobody listens to. Right? Wrong.
The View is still one of the more popular daytime TV shows, even though it has dropped from where it used to be. Still, the poison being vomited on the spew can be found on so-called mainstream media outlets. I've done several videos about MSNBC hate mongers like Joy Reid characterizing white Christians as a quote, public health threat, while coddling minorities who chose not to get the vaccine as victims of systemic racism. Definitely no calls to literally turn these people into second class citizens and take away their basic human rights. It's become a public health problem. White evangelical resistance is now an obstacle for the New York Times to the vaccination effort. As you just mentioned, millions of white evangelical adults in the U.S. do not intend to get vaccinated against COVID-19. Um, mistrust of science, mistrust of uh, et cetera, and also their politics. Now this is a public health issue. What can be done yeah. about that? When you put this on top of the racism where they're calling, you know, the coronavirus, the Chinese virus and all of these other things that, you know, their Lord and Savior Donald Trump said. Is there a liberal evangelicalism that is counter to that? And is it of significant size um, to sort of counter what you're seeing in that sort of right wing evangelicalism? I also worry about the virus. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm about the virus, about the, 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 um, the, you know, the vaccine. And then the other piece is when it comes, particularly in our community, black people, they might be like, I don't trust science. The, the science, I mean, we, you know, Tuskegee experiments, et cetera. There's just not a lot of trust. And it was developed during the Trump era. Yes, I, I, I'm very concerned about that. I've been talking about this in community and I've been very clear to say too often science has been a tool of white supremacy. Make no mistake. They're coming after you. Fall into line or you become public enemy number one. You will be the other. Hell, we already are the other, but soon these people will be rationalizing all kinds of evil things that in their minds will be for the greater good. They certainly aren't demonizing us and dehumanizing us 24 seven in the media and in all of our institutions for nothing. You can help me to continue exposing these gargoyles with one of the links in the description or pinned comment. Also, if you're interested, check out the official Drone Tech Politics Discord server to discuss these topics with the rest of the community. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you all tomorrow.